All aboard your tech news, games, and deals caboose. We have some Sony and LG press conferences to go over. We get some 360 reality audio, some rollable TVs, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So let's start off with Sony. We get to see them talking about the PlayStation 4. We get some actual sales number. They sell 91.6 million units worldwide as of December 31st, 2018. 5.6 in just the holidays. So good sales from them. They also talk about the Venice camera, a really high expensive camera for like movie production and such. So they talk about that a little bit. And then they talk about the creation of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse at 2150. They go over a lot of the different animation about how it's taking one second instead of four seconds for all the animators a whole week it takes to do one second of animation. And they did a lot of different techniques and stuff for this cool little movie. And then we get to see some of the audio stuff they announced kind of at 2945. So this is a 360 reality audio. We'll go into a little bit more in just a second. And then we get at 325, we get Farrell Williams and he talks about his trip to Tokyo and his interaction with Sony and all the different creation stuff they get to do there. So cool stuff there. And let's jump into the actual 360 audio. There's a couple things we get to see with this cool new technology coming. So the concept of 360 reality audio is basically audio all around you. And here's a comparison of conventional stereo. So just two speakers coming straight at you. And then it's comparing that to 360 reality audio. This is a file format they're going to add and they actually can record with. So it'll be basically spatial audio creating multiple virtual speed speakers so you can hear above, below, all around you and from different distances is what they're going for with this. And spatial audio technology, 360 reality audio. And then again, they're talking five channel and this is five speakers set up around you. And then the spatial audio tech again is uh, not just around you in a, in a sphere, in a circle, it's going to be more spherical and be above and around you at different areas. And then they actually talk about how it's going to be implemented a little bit. And there's a little video that we'll want to check out. Hopefully this isn't too loud. We'll lower that to like 20%. And there's a couple things they do. Normal headphones, you kind of hear the sound in your head, which is apparently not natural, they're saying. And natural sound images depend on distance. So there's a couple ways that they record this. There's also some ways they can convert other audio but it is based on reflections, distance. It also matters about the shape of your ear. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in their app. They actually take a picture of your ear to work around the audio. And there's the app they're gonna talk about. So a bunch of different stuff they're doing with this specifically, but here is a speaker they're demoing at CES. And it has a, this is the file format for the 360 audio, reality audio is MPEG H. 3D, so new file format for there. But then this is the Fraunhofer 2S on 360. I believe I just butchered that. And this is multi-track format can be also converted to 360 audio if it's multi-track. That's one of the other things I was mentioning earlier. But they got three speakers on the top for the speaker and they're at different angles. And then there's mesh all around, so we're not quite sure what the speaker system is under there but uh, the writer did like the demos. And this is just a reference to the device Sony's talking about for the speaker, so not quite selling it anytime soon. And Sony offered an audio demo, and this is where the writer talks about uh, how they did like it, but there was a couple of things that they were concerned about. Uh, it was put in the center of a room, so they got to hear the different audio bouncing around and different stuff like that. But how would this work up in the living room? You'd either have to probably attach it to your ceiling or there'd be couches and everything or kind of in the way where you put it on the floor next to the TV. So it depends on where the speaker's gonna go. Most likely ceiling if that is what they're going for with the speaker here or a different format in general. That's just a reference design that could do something else. And it's just one speaker instead of a bunch of them. So basically you use an app to measure your hearing and it also is going to take pictures somewhere that's mentioned. 
uh, and then you'll we'll be able to get this 360 reality audio experience that you've always wanted realistic distance and just all around you cool stuff there from Sony and then we get into some TVs they introduce their Z9 G master series this is an 8k TV there's an 85 inch and a 98 inch TV uh, no date or price yet but it is available soon I believe those mentioned these numbers might be announced in April if this is the correct one and just a couple of quick things about the TV it's 8k here's some good upscaling versus non upscaling it's so blurry I don't know if they're really comparing but we get a couple other mentions right at the end there's some Netflix calibrated mode that was just something interesting new I haven't really seen before or just never noticed and so better Netflix quality and then Google Assistant is also built into these Sony monster TVs and then we get some 4K OLED, and there's three models for this, 55, 65, and 77 inch. So you're going to get the good OLED contrast for white and for dark blacks and bright colors. And then there was one other quick little mention for this OLED, I believe. And it's really thin, so cool if you want a super thin TV. Almost fly against your wall. And that leads us into some other quick little Sony stuff. Sony extra bass speakers. And you can hold four drinks with this. Cool. And Sony's still going with the 4K Blu-ray players. So you're still going to get support for that. And then Sony's also adding Alexa to noise canceling headphones. So cool stuff there. And two dumb speakers if you're into soundbars. Cool, cool, cool. And then we get into some LG stuff. So LG, they go into smart appliances, some proactive care. Let's start off with the smart appliances real quick. So he picks up a regular vacuum cleaner and basically a little LG smart connection basically gets a little robot helper to go around and I guess get in your way while you're trying to vacuum. <laughs> you could have just let them do it yourself, little robot. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, we also get mention of active proactive care basically it's going to give you real-time alerts uh, possibly in uh, appliances and stuff maybe something's going wrong or you're running low on something expedited repairs they talked about, about that a little bit and the maintenance tips maybe cleaning or taking care of something and then we get homebrew at 152 we'll get to the rolling tvs in a second but homebrew so if you're into drinking and crafting your own concoctions it's not really crafting too much you kind of just press a button and it does it for you but basically it takes 212 malt yeast and hop oil and flavoring and it'll combine that for you and it'll control fermentation carbonation aging and self-cleaning all within two weeks and then you can select your type whatever kind of type you want to wait for two weeks for <laughs> and then it pumps out 1.3 gallons worth so get a couple of them and you'll have a keg <laughs> anyways that is that there's also a little mention of mobile app so it'll tell you the progress of what's going on temperature keeping for two days cool stuff there and then we get into some of the TV stuff they have 8k TVs Google Assistant we went over this a little bit in a pre CES episode they kind of announced some of the LG stuff they announced some of the AK OLEDs, Google Assistant again built in, AirPlay support from Apple, it looks like. And a cool one is at 658 roller rollable TV. So this massive TV rolls up out. It's also a soundbar. And there are a couple of modes that you can do this in, which is just levels of roll. <laughs> you have the full roll, which you can see a TV, and then a slim line view. So basically this would be like a notification bar where you could just select music, clock, and stuff. Kind of useful. Um, they're at least using it, the rollable function for more than just rolling up and down, I guess. So cool there. And then all the way down, zero view, which would just be the speaker. And you could talk to it that way. So it has three different uses. And it's not just a TV that rolls together just for the sake of it. So that is cool from LG. And we also have a giant flower display with their LG TVs. So they have a bunch of them just roll slightly and then a giant flower. Interesting. And then we have the waterfall. 
where it's the whole ceiling and it rolls down into and it's video of a actual waterfall and that's probably like a thousand K right there all the TVs combined if you add it all up together it's probably pretty crazy stuff so that's pretty crazy from Sony and LG that is your press recap and we have a couple of comments saying looks like I should buy stock in popcorn you, you, you definitely should if you like popcorn and you think it's going up, I guess. I'm not sure what that's in reference to. But we will have another episode at 3 p.m. tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific. Possibly, again, another early CES episode in between that. And we will sign out with a pew-pew, pew-pew, pew-pew.